This moment of human kindness is sponsored by Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness. Cancer patients are receiving some extra support tonight from Veterans Elementary School 5th graders. We had a chance to catch up with students and their teacher earlier today as they presented handwritten Christmas cards to patients this holiday. So what's your name? Max Boy. Max, Max, I just want to thank you for your support yeah. here and this is awesome. Fifth grade students like 11 year old Max Bolin wanted to spread words of encouragement to those going through a challenging time this holiday. We are handing out cookies, um, hot cocoa and we are giving them letters to just well comfort them. Bolin says that after hearing about the obstacles that his fifth grade teacher Miss Gonzalez went through, Bolin and his classmates wanted to help others going through the same fight this holiday. Uh, she had to have six um, treatments. And I personally have a history of cancer, so it kind of opened the door to a communication about, um, you know, what it's like to spread kindness to people who are affected by a tragic situation. Many of Gonzalez's students also saw the impact that cancer had on their families, too, making the cards even more special for them. Be careful. My sister, she actually had um, leukemia when she was two, and she had to get treatment for three years. It's like a toll in our family and really it just kind of, you know, you don't know what would happen next. Sherry Gonzalez says that during her battle with breast cancer, it was not easy to be a full-time mother of two while fighting the disease. But that cards like this made all of the difference in her journey. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, going through my journey, I found it uh, to be very therapeutic to, um, you know, to discuss what was going on in my life and um, focus on the positive instead of the negative. And through that process of doing that, it just, it, it became, like a necessary tool for uh, for overcoming the the disease and so it's something I like to share with the kids that just a simple act of kindness a, a compliment suggestion and offer to help um, you know a, a warm greeting um, can be just what a cancer patient needs to uh, you know to, to fight the fight. Gonzalez and her students gave 60 handwritten cards of encouragement and positivity along with hot cocoa and cookies to cancer patients of the comprehensive blood and cancer center. This is unbelievable these children that have come down here to support the cancer patients and the and the facility is just just truly amazing and it's it is a true blessing and it's an encouragement for the people that are still battling cancer right now. Many of the cancer patients like Scott Hodges also saying that the cards of generosity are helpful reminders to keep pushing through the hard times and that it made their day. Well, it made me smile. Yes. It made me smile. But the cards also help them focus on the good instead of the bad things during the holidays. That's a, you know any kind of encouragement is is truly a blessing you know to to the cancer patient to myself seeing this and it's just it's just wonderful that, that we have that support. Bolin also says he enjoyed being part of a positive impact on someone's life this Christmas. Good inside. It makes me feel like I've done something. And through making Christmas cards for CBCC patients, Bolin and his classmates were able to learn a valuable lesson about giving to others during Christmas time. Uh, to be kind and it could affect other people a lot and make them feel better. You can give it to like different people and make their days better because these people, it obviously made these people happier. Students also hung Christmas ornaments on the Tree of Hope at the Comprehensive Blood and Cancer Center to help remind patients that the community is also keeping hope alive for them this Christmas. And if you would like to give a card to a patient, head to our website, turn to 23com